السلام علیکم ورحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ ہیئر از اسامہ طاہر اینڈ یو آر واچنگ لرن انگلش ود اسامہ طاہر ہاؤ یو گائز ہاؤ از ایوری تھنگ ہاؤ از یور لرننگ ود می آئی ہوپ ایوری تھنگ از آل رائٹ اینڈ یو آر انجوائنگ دی بلیسنگس آف دا ہالی منتھ آف رمضان ایز یو نو گائز وی ہیو بین ڈسکسنگ لینگویج لرننگ تھیریز ان ڈیٹیل اینڈ آئی ہیو ٹول یو آئی ول میک تھری کنزیکٹیو ویڈیو لیکچرز on the language learning theories which I have made two already and today is our last video lecture about this series of lectures language learning theories okay before formally starting this video lecture uh, we I want to make a concept in your mind about language so first of all let's take language as the social aspect that language is learned from the society that it is taught by the society and social interaction plays a significant role in teaching you the language so do you agree with me that language is learned from the society and social interaction is very significant in uh, language acquisition <coughs> okay let's find out the role of the social interaction in language learning role of baby talk in child language development okay what is the role of social interaction in the language learning that how language is uh, you know how you learn language from the social interaction when a child is born he interacts with the society in the form of the relationship with and the communication with his her own parents so there is a role of social interaction there is the interaction between parents and a child and how it helps him to learn the language <coughs> next is role of baby talk in child language development baby talk is something when parents talk to their young developing child in easy vocabulary and in you know in their own way to communicate with them in their way to communicate with them it's called baby talk so baby talk helps in learning development in language learning development in the child so do you agree with it and the role of society in learning a language so what is the role of society in teaching you the language how adults are responsible in the development of language learning how adult or adult siblings and the adults around the child helps in the development of language learning in the developing child let's find out the answers of these questions the questions are hidden in the social interactionist theory which was given by lev vygotsky and jerome bruner jerome bruner so social interaction theory what do you think from the name of this theory that the social theory and the interaction is theory that social interaction is responsible for learning the language yes this theory focuses upon it that's why it is called social interactionist theory social so let's move forward to the definition okay social interactionist theory is an explanation of language development emphasizing the role of social interaction between the development child and linguistically knowledgeable adults so social interactionist theory put emphasis on the role of social interaction that there is a social interaction between the developing child and linguistically developed knowledgeable adults which are parents so how this social interaction helps the child to learn the language this theory revolves around this fact it is based largely on the socio cultural theories of soviet psychologist lev vygotsky so lev vygotsky who was uh, the russian psychologist he gave the socio cultural theory and on which on this theory we made the social interactionist theory or with the help of the socio cultural uh, socio cultural uh, socio cultural theory we made this social interactionist theory it discusses and revolves around the importance of communication between parents and child to be the source of language learning method for a child so this theory revolves around the importance of the communication between the parents and the child so sorry i told you the socio cultural okay vygotsky gave the social interaction linguistically socio cultural theories of uh, okay actually this was the model so i i did a mistake here sorry so socio cultural model it was a model not the theory corrected okay vygotsky a russian psychologist created a model of okay 
Vygotsky, a Russian psychologist, created a model of human development now called the socio-cultural model. It was a model. There was a human uh, human development model called the socio-cultural model that he was he he gave gave it in the field of psychology, and he believed that all cultural development in children is visible in two stages. First, the child observes the interaction between other people, and then behavior develops inside the child. So first of all, the child observes the interaction and the communication between the between the society, between the individual in the society, like parents, the adults, and he just observes them because he knows nothing about the language, and he just observes them. And then after the observation, the second stage is then behavior develops inside the child. It could be any behavior, or we can relate it with the language. That language is also the behavior, and in that respect, child first observes the interaction and then starts to. Uh, develop this behavior inside him in language okay in the second language socio cultural model we have second definition in language learning this model can be i mean we can integrate this model with the language learning in a way that child learns communication taking place uh, how he learns it and he observes it and then he starts responding to it i mean two stages are involved in socio cultural model for developing any behavior so we can relate this model with the language learning as well because we can consider language as the form of the behavior that a child learn in two stages first observation and second development next we have this model also focuses upon problem solving okay problem solving is very much significant in learning a language that child is born with the problem solving skills so it means first a child is led by parents and adults and he only observes the communication going around him later on he starts to speak his own solving problems by his or own there are so many problems in the language understanding there are so many structures sentences morphological elements vocabulary items formal informal vocabulary spellings sounds everything and child solves <clears throat> all of these problems by his or own so this problem solving ability makes a child to learn the language better next is jerome bruner and his discovery learning theory so guys don't worry uh, we constructed this theory Uh, from different other theories and different other models, like Lev Vygotsky model was integrated in this theory. Which theory? The social interactionist theory. And the discovery learning theory was integrated in our theory to support the idea. So we have uh, most of the time we have theories from the psychologists, and we integrated those as researches and their uh, so, uh, theories into our language learning theory. So don't worry, linguistics is like um. merged field from other fields like it's interdisciplinary field and you don't need to be worried about that we are having we are studying psychologists instead of linguist in our language learning theory so it's normal so discovery learning okay jerome bruner gave the discovery learning theory discovery learning theory that you learn something by discovering okay whatever you do if you discover it by your own you will never forget it i mean you can be taught uh, different things different skills explicitly but you learn better when you discover something by your own when you work hard for it by your own so this is a uh, discovery learning theory is all about that you discover something you discover a knowledge a piece of information by your own and then you get better at it and you never forget it This is how you learn the language. This is how a child learns the language. Discovery learning is a method of inquiry-based instruction. Discovery learning, okay, it's an inquiry-based instruction. Discovery learning believes that it is best for learners to discover facts and relationship for themselves. What are the facts that language has sounds, language has tenses, and what are the relationship between uh, the words, between the verbs, between the nouns, and how to relate them, how to make the relationship, and uh, how to create the relationship in languages. It is always helps child to learn the language by discovering him or herself, her own self. So when a child is not taught, you know, parents never uh, teach their kids that how to make past tense, how to make future tense, how to join sentences. The child just observes it. The child discover knowledge by himself and relate to his past experiences 
and then learn it. So this is Jerome Bruner and his discovery learning theory can be integrated with our language learning theory in this way. So as a result, student may be more more likely to remember concepts and knowledge discovered on their own because when you discover something by your own, you never forget it. Next is as a uh, concluding discovery learning theory. So this learning theory and its role in our language learning is as a consequence when a child discovers language rules and language features himself. He discovers uh, by repeated observation and he discovers the knowledge that I will use he and she and I will use S and E S with the verb. I will use past tense. So I use ED with the verb forms. I will use EN with the irregular forms. Everything is discovered by the child by repeated observations and he never forgets them till death. So it gets concrete form and the acquisition is very strong because of discovering knowledge by himself. So this theory is totally in the idea that if you discover something by your own you will learn it better so language is something you discover a child discover by himself so he never forgets it she never forgets it so this was this is how you can integrate this uh, theory with our language learning theory so overall human development model by Lev so Lev Vygotsky gave the human development model which has two stages so in these stages you learn the language and language di uh, discovery model that you discover knowledge by your own by general or both these two more uh, one is model and one is theory by these two psychologists helps in giving you the direction that how you can teach how you can learn language with the help of social interaction and discovering knowledge by learners own end so this was all in this theory and if you have any question in any query you can ask me in the comment section thank you Allah Hafiz